Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Yama and I love to answer questions about medicine. And the other day I was asked a really interesting question and that was, why does my stomach growl? <laughs> Your stomach growls? Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It's completely normal for the stomach and the intestines to make sounds. But before I answer this really good question, I want to answer a different question. And that is, what is the stomach? Hmm, what is the stomach and what does it do? Do you know? Well, in case you don't, let me tell you. So the stomach is actually an organ that's located inside the body and it helps break down food. And it kind of looks like this, like a J-shaped bag. So when you're eating breakfast, lunch or dinner or some snacks, you take the food and you put it in your mouth and you chew it with your teeth. Well, hopefully not like that. Hopefully you chew a little more nicely and with your mouth closed like this. And then you swallow and that food goes down your esophagus and it lands in the stomach. And once it's in the stomach, the walls of the stomach are actually made out of a muscle and it helps squish and grind the food. And then you add something called enzymes to the mix, which helps break down that food even more into small pieces and kind of, or like mushy. And then it goes into the intestines to be further digested. So now that we know what the stomach is and what it does, the question is, where in the body is the stomach located? Hmm, we know it's inside the body, but where? Well, I made a little game to tell you or to show you where the stomach is located. So it's called pin the stomach on the body. Hmm, is it located up here? No, that's silly, that's the brain. Hmm, is it located right here? Right inside your shoulder? <laughs> Could you imagine if your, if your stomach was inside your shoulder and you had two stomachs? No, that would be pretty silly. And your shoulders would be really squishy. Hmm, maybe it's located down here. No, that's kind of where the bladder is. And that's a different type of bag that contains urine but we'll talk about that later. Hmm, where is the stomach? Where could it be? I know, it's right here. So that's kind of where your stomach is located, kind of on the left-hand side, underneath your lungs and the diaphragm. So here's another kind of picture. There we go. So when you chew food, you put it in your mouth, you chew it, you swallow, it goes down your esophagus, right into your stomach and your stomach leads into your intestines. And now going to that very good question, why does my stomach growl? <sighs> maybe there's a tiger inside and maybe the tiger's growling. Now, oh, that's pretty silly. There's no tiger in your stomach and your stomach actually doesn't growl. But what the sounds are, are the sounds are caused by food and liquid and gas getting all stirred and mixed up together. Here, I have a demonstration to show you. So it's kind of like this. So here's my stomach. <laughs> I drew a little stomach on a bag. I put some food inside there and some water, and then you mix it all together, and you can hear kind of the sounds that stomach would make. Whoa, and you can do this yourself at home with your parents. All you need is a plastic bag, some water and some food. And then you have a stomach in a bag. So now that we know how those sounds are made, what kind of sounds does your stomach make? My stomach goes squish or goes squeak or swish swish, maybe some gurgling sounds or or <laughs> So stomachs can actually make lots and lots of different sounds. But, well, for the most part, you actually don't even hear your stomach. <laughs> so usually it doesn't make any sounds that we can hear.
but doctors have a special tool that we use to listen to the stomach and the intestines. Do you know what that tool is called? We also use it to listen to the lungs and the heart. Hmm. You're right, it's called a stethoscope. So doctors use their stethoscopes not only to listen to the lungs and the heart, but we listen to the stomach and the intestines. That's why we take the stethoscope and we put it on your belly. Not to be silly, but because we're listening to your stomach. Okay, so I came to a very important part of the video. It's the plop quiz. <laughs> Do you get it? Instead of a pop quiz, it's the plop quiz. So question number one. What does your stomach do? Hmm, what does your stomach do? You're right, your stomach helps break down food. So your stomach is like a very muscular bag that can squish and grind food down into small pieces. Okay, question two, where is your stomach located? Where is it? <laughs> Remember that game we played, pin the stomach on the body? So the stomach is located inside your body, kind of right below your lungs on the left-hand side, kind of right here. Okay, and question number three. What sounds does your stomach make and how does it make them? What sounds does your stomach make? <laughs> oh, those are some pretty funny sounds, all sorts of sounds. And it makes them by having food and liquid and gas all kind of being squished and, and slushed together. It's kind of like a bag, but booted. <laughs> okay, number four. What tool do doctors use to listen to your stomach? Hmm, we use it to listen to your heart and your lungs as well. That's right, the stethoscope. Great job, everyone. And I have something else to tell you guys about. I created some coloring sheets that you can download or your parents can download. The link is in the video description. And this is kind of what it looks like. So if you're like me, I love to color. So I made some coloring sheets for you. And the other thing I want to mention is that if you have questions about health and wellness and medicine, then let me know. Get your parents to ask those questions in the comment section, and then hopefully I can answer them. And the last thing that I want to ask is please sign up for or please subscribe to my channel and show your s support for this medical educational videos for kids. Great. Well, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Bye for now.